Oh, here's a fun one. Let's discuss this little fun bit of news. A game doing it right. Because, you know, we talk about games doing things wrong all the fucking time. And sometimes you gotta cover a game doing it right. And uh, that example is is quite literally right in front of us, which is a very, very good thing. This is an example of the lovely, wonderful Valve. And this is a, a little bit of a fun story. So, according to Deadlock Intel, which is like one of those fan sites on uh, Twitter that follow every single little bit of news, I have confirmed this. There's footage of this. I think I can find this. Let's see if I can find the information here, like a like a little uh, a little example. I think there was examples going around of the video. I want to find that. There it is. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny. Okay, so uh, Deadlock, every game has to deal with cheating, especially if they're an online game. Uh, this is something that's been in every single online game, whether it's PvE or PvP or everything between. It's it's unfortunately just constant. Uh, it, is, it is a constant fight with cheaters. Now, Deadlock is the brand new game on the market. Uh, it is an early access. Everyone's playing it. It's getting like, what, like 100,000 uh, players concurrently as an early access game. It's insane. I played it. It's a, it's like a shooter MOBA, and it's actually a lot of fun uh, and is, is getting better pretty much every single day. They're updating it really, really fast. Regardless of all of those facts aside, there was something interesting that was announced. Every game has to deal with cheaters. Some games deal with them by just banning them. Some people tell you that there's a cheater in your game and then ban them. Some games give you compensation for reporting a cheater, something like Tarkov or Arena Breakout Infinite. Uh, but Deadlock decided to treat it another way. Basically, whenever someone is a cheater in your game, it'll give you this little pop-up, this little picture of a pop-up right here, thanks to Deadlock Intel for showing it. It'll give you a, a question saying that someone in your game was caught cheating. What do you want to do? I don't know if that's what it says, but I think we can find footage of it. And you can either choose to ban and leave the match, or you can choose to make them into a frog. So everyone knows who the cheater is, and everyone can shoot the guy being a useless frog, and then his account is banned. It is like the most glorious, absolute, like, just tearing into someone. And this is, this is footage of the frog. This guy is a cheater. I think it's like just footage of, you know, the thing. And everyone's just shooting the freaking frog. The frog has no way to like really do anything except bounce around like an absolute imbecile. And he knows that everyone around him knows that he's a cheater. I think the best thing to do for video games is to absolutely shame the bad actors. It is not enough to ban them. It is not enough to get rid of their accounts. It is not enough to punish them. It is you need it is not about revenge. It is about punishment. Sorry, I said it wrong. It is not about revenge, it's about punishment. You need to shame them. You need to make them feel shame, hop around like a freaking frog for half the match before they are forced to quit or leave, and then they're banned. That is the way to deal with it. Because that is what people remember. I love this change. I think this is a great idea. I think this is brilliant. And uh, I think that uh, we need more of this. Uh, I think we need more of this. I, I wish every game had a situation and a system like this. This game is only made better because of it. Only made better because of it. Absolutely goaded. Absolutely goaded. There we go. Just wanted to give. Just wanted to give some good news. Just some. Just some good news. If you guys haven't played Deadlock, definitely play it. I have played it on stream, and I've given access to a lot of the community members. So if you guys want access, hit me up. In the comments below, hop over to Cap Corgi on Twitch, and I will get you a uh, beta key. It's it's given out freely because everyone's giving them out to every, all their friends. There you go, buddy. Yep, exactly, dude. God bless, uh, Gavin. Hey, not only that, actually, there's some other news about Gavin. I'll uh, I'll I'll um, uh, absolutely uh, cover this in in just a moment. There's some other good news. I'm more extreme on anti-cheat. Wall of shame, not just humiliation in game. Your name is shown to the world as a cheater. Yeah, Osmodeus, that's what uh, Tarkov does. Tarkov releases a list 
every what is it like four weeks or so where it has an entire list it's like a it's like a spreadsheet of every cheater that was banned for cheating and i know people that saw one of their friends names on that list and then they'll just like mercilessly fucking shit on their friend being like why the fuck would you cheat dude you're so bad at this game like all that it's so funny man it's so funny uh, their game name, I'm talking real name. Oh, well, yeah, I don't think they have access to that. I, th I think doxing might be a bit much, but, um, you know, like at least their in-game name and so everyone makes fun of them and stuff. I think that's totally fine. I think doxing might be, that might get into legal issues, you know, a little bit of legality issues. Uh, but yeah, yeah. And Osmodis, welcome, buddy. I hope you're having a great night. Join the giveaway. Giveaway is active. Some games turn your cheats into something that you can buy. Vac hacks turning into vac pets. Wait, what? What is this? Most games player base is 20 to 30% cheaters. Yeah, sometimes. I'm more extreme on it. That's totally fair, buddy. Yeah, that's totally fair. Uh, but yeah, W update. I completely agree. And look at the comments, man. Best devs in the business. W update. I'm totally okay with them turning into a frog. CS doesn't get shit. They're making fun of, you know, Counter-Strike, which is the other Val game. And it's not, doesn't really get many updates. It's true. Uh, can they sell this product to Activision? Deadlock is the best upcoming multiplayer game. No one is unhappy about this. Everyone loves this idea. Everyone loves this idea. Because guess what? Besides cheaters themselves, no one likes cheaters. If you're a cheater in a game, no one likes you. And this is like a little bit of a visual showcase of just what people think of you if you're a cheater. They think you're a fucking animal. They think you're a small, slimy, piece of shit amphibian. That's what they think you are. And and that is the shame that you get and deserve for being a cheater. And I love that they did it. I love that they did it. Absolutely. W game. This only makes me want to play Deadlock more. Do you cheat on single player games is fine? Well, if it's if it's in a single player game, it's not cheating. It's just a mod at that point. Angry. <laughs> Like, that's the thing. It's, it's not even cheating at that point. It's just a mod. Or, you know, playing around with the, the you know, whatever it's called. Uh, Now in single player? Yeah, yeah it's, it's, dude. If it's not affecting people in multiplayer, I don't care. You can break the game however you want. People make mods all the time to do exactly that. There's ways to skip entire portions of the game. And they just call it an any percentage speedrun. I don't give a fuck. I don't like to watch any percentage speedruns. I don't think it's particularly interesting content for myself. But I don't see anything wrong with it. It's literally a category speedrunning. Yeah, it's totally fine. Absolutely. Just don't do it in multiplayer, whether it's cooperative or competitive. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Absolutely. Absolutely. And like, also, I don't want any of those people that break single player games to get pissy when a game dev fixes the patch with like you know patches whatever hole that they use to exploit the game and you know play the game as intended i think people that get pissed off at game devs for doing that are also in the wrong like dude if the game devs want you to play a certain way just play it a certain way don't be a bitch play it on hard mode <laughs> like you know or normal mode um maple story back in the day vac hacks sucked items in your inventory and now nexon just sells them to you and calls them pets yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, a lot of MMOs have those pets now, Blind Nomadic. It's not just uh, Maple Story. It's not just Korean MMOs. A lot of them have them. Uh, they're pets you can buy. I think um, BDO, I think, has them as well, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of games have those kinds of pets. There's a lot of, like, uh, you know, pay-to-win MMOs that have them. Yeah, exactly. They sell them under pet skills. Yep. Uh, finding an unused voice line is just someone calling you a cheater and an asshole for in a, for a single player game. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Auto potion is another cheat back. Yeah, ex I mean, dude, I fucking hate those bullshit games by automatic. I hate pay to win shit. I absolutely despise pay to win shit. A hundred percent, dude. There, there's, there's some things in gaming that'll just tick me off, man. And that is definitely one of them. That is absolutely one of them.